on a mission. A mission from God. It's a mission of extreme urgency. It's a mission of purpose. Are you ready for this mission? You're in this too, you know. Oh yeah. If you're a child of God, this mission's got your name written all over it. No casual bystanders here. Lives are at stake. Spiritual lives. Will you accept the mission? Can you be sent? Once upon a time, there was a king named Uzziah who ruled over Judah. He was a great king who often sought the guidance of the Lord. I will follow the Lord and lead my people with wisdom and justice. As long as King Uzziah sought the Lord, God gave him success. He built cities, won battles, and made his kingdom strong. Look at all we have achieved with God's help. But over time, King Uzziah became proud, and this caused him to do things he was not allowed to do. I will burn the incense in the temple, just as the priests do. King Uzziah, this is not right. Only the peace should be able to burn incense to the Lord. I am the king. I can do as I please. As King Uzziah held the incense, God struggled with leprosy. He had to live alone, away from his people, for the rest of his life. But what have I done? I should have obeyed the Lord. King Uzziah's pride led to his downfall, but his story didn't end God's plan for his people. In the year that King Uzziah died, the year with many questions on the minds of the people, did our love and confidence in our earthly king cause us to forget our true king? What does the future hold? Where is our hope and security? Questions asked 2,000 years ago, the frightening summons to questions asked today. After King Uzziah died, a prophet named Isaiah had a vision of the Lord. Isaiah saw the Lord seated on a throne high and exalted, and the train of his robe filled the temple. Above him were seraphs, burning snakes with six wings. With two wings they covered their faces. With two wings they covered their feet. And with two they were flying. Flying, burning snakes. What a sight. And they were calling to one another. Holy, holy, holy is the Lord Almighty. The whole earth is filled with his glory. At the sound of their voices, the doorposts and doorways shook. And the temple was filled with smoke. True worship and action. Shaking buildings. Loud voices and God on his throne. This is good. Then Isaiah cried out, Woe to me! I am ruined, hopeless, alone, destined for hell. For I am a man of unclean lips, and I live among a people of unclean lips. Isaiah knew that his worship and service and that of his people could never be Because Unclean lips, hatred, disunity, lust, gossip, I don't worship, comfortable Christianity. Isaiah continued, My eyes have seen the King, the Lord Almighty. He was face to face with God. It's not looking good. Then one of the seraphs flew to Isaiah with a live coal in his hand, which he had taken from the coal, from the altar. He touched it with Isaiah's mouth. Bad news. No, good news for the seraph said, see, he has touched your lips. Your guilt is taken away and your sins are atoned for. A flaming, burning, glowing coal. From the altar of God. The sacrifice has the power to cleanse. But the story doesn't end. The our response! Then I heard the voice of the Lord saying, Whom shall I send? Who will go for us? God called Isaiah to be his prophet, to speak to the people for him. Go and tell the people about my love and justice, and help them turn back to me. The question that raised the rebels of The question of sacrifice and responsibility? Meant for men and women of God. What will your response be? If I could just make more money. When my schedule finally slows down. If God could just take away my problems. Excuse me! Isaiah responded. Here am I. With nothing to give. He saw God and it changed him. He raised his hand and volunteered. Send me! And it made all the difference in this world. Who shall I send? The question still remains. Who will go for us? The call remains the same. A call to go. A call to tell. The call of love. The mission is clear. They had to hear that. Christ came to die so that we don't have to. We must always listen to God and be ready to do what he says. Here am I. Send me. I will, Lord. I will be your message. We should be willing to go on a mission for God. We should be willing to be humble and obedient. Like Isaiah, when God calls, let's say, 
Go and tell. Here I am. Send me.